Hello, my name is Ashik Mohammed, and I graduated from SPMS in Mathematics and Economics in 2021. After graduation, I have since pursued a career in technical consulting industry. I am currently working in a fintech company as an implementation specialist. To most, an implementation specialist may sound very foreign. And I understand a lot of you here are starting to consider the options out there and what suits you best. What I want to share with you today is a little bit about myself and how my time in SPMS and NTU opened various opportunities for me. And more than that, I would like to share the fun times and the tough times I experienced during my enrollment as an SPMS student. I hope that my sharing will guide you in the choices you make. When people think of choosing university, they first and foremost think of education. What kind of education can I take away from the next four years? Well, education is a huge word. For most of us here, educational journeys so far would have been very much based on exams and textbook information. From the day you enter university, exams will still be important, but they should be viewed as a mere stepping stone in your entire educational journey. You should start to look beyond exams and grades. Exams are tough at a university level, wherever you may choose to go. But being able to understand new information efficiently and applying them effectively is a skill that is well sought after. Most STEM courses will give you this rigor in curriculum, but SPMS offers you a wider spectrum of opportunities which you can then choose to specialize in. Besides traditional education, I've learned so much during my time exploring within SPMS. I spent a year as a subcommittee member in the sports committee, and then challenged myself to take on role as a sports director in Exco. I took a semester to do exchange program in the University of Waterloo in Canada. I participated in three orientation camps as a senior. I also did all this while representing NTU in chokeball, although I've never played the sports before. These are memories that I hold very fondly, even till now. In my job as an implementation specialist, I worked a lot on gathering my clients' business wants, analyzing their needs, and translating that to an actionable task which is picked up and completed on an engineering cycle. In simple terms, I manage clients' difficult expectation while delivering their needs, and at the same time, ensuring that a level of technical standard is kept while passing on that information. Technical know-hows and problem solving is something that SPMS graduates can expect to use in the working world. While I also picked up some communication, management and leadership skills through activities in NTU. Keep an open mind and I welcome you to explore the entirety of opportunities offered by NTU and SPMS. Hello, I'm Yo Hui. I graduated from NTU Mathematical Sciences with a minor in Finance in 2019. I'm currently pursuing a PhD in math at NTU. Learning math at NTU is fun. When we just picked up coding in our first semester, we got to work in groups to code out the game Pentago. When Pokemon Go was just launched, we learned how to use the collected data of Pokemon caught in NTU to calculate the probabilities of catching various Pokemons. In another project that models the relationship between Marlene and Dory in the movie Finding Nemo, we went to watch the movie together as a group to collect data for a project. Some tutorials even have interesting Kahoot game sessions where we get to win prizes. From all this, I was impressed by the innovative teaching methods used by the NTU math professors to enhance students' learning experiences. In my second year, I had my first taste of research when I joined NTU Eureka. I did a coding project on signal processing supervised by an engineering professor. As a math major, the skill set learned in school put us in a prime position to take up big data and AI internships. I did an internship with DSTA where I was part of a national project involving the use of data analytics and machine learning to enhance flood warning predictions and traffic updates. I would also done another internship with DSO where I was involved in a cybersecurity research project. My semester exchange is the most fun part of my university days. Coming from a low-income family background, I'm grateful for the NTU Travel Bursary and Award, which covers more than half of the total expenses of my semester exchange. The exchange experience is a unique one. Not only was I able to immerse myself in the local culture, 
but I also made many friendships during the exchange that gave me the fondest memories. In my final year, I had the opportunity to be an undergraduate teaching assistant to teach first-year math tutorials. It was fun as I got to design my teaching materials, such as creating my teaching slides, cover questions, and interactive graphs for students to visualize difficult math concepts. Through the wide range of NTU math modules, I eventually found my interest in mathematical optimization. A recently viral Reddit post showed the differences in the price of a Big Mac meal across Singapore. You may wonder how do we best price a Big Mac meal at a specific outlet so that we can maximize profits at the outlet. To answer this question, we need advanced mathematics to do such pricing optimization. There's a recent research work regarding the second dose challenge in vaccination appointment scheduling. It identified a real-world dilemma. At the point in time when most people had not received any COVID vaccination yet, providing the first dose to as many people as possible is a desirable aim. However, because of the need to provide a second dose to those who already had their first dose, we must reserve some vaccines for the second dose. So how many vaccines should we reserve? If we reserve too little, we risk not being able to provide second doses when needed. If we reserve too much, we risk slowing down the vaccination process. To optimize the usage of limited vaccines, we need mathematical optimization. My education in NTU Math has truly been a life-changing experience. NTU Math degree has opened the door for me to do a PhD in Math to contribute to interesting research in mathematical optimization. I'm very happy to have gone to Germany and US recently to present my research work at international conferences as a PhD student at NTU Math. To sum up, if you have interest in Math, then come join us to let the NTU Math curriculum guide you in finding your passion and calling in life.